Hey Cinephiles, I'm JS. And I'm Emily. And today we have an instant trailer review for The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. Trailer 1. <laughs> so let's get looking at this. Okay, Lionsgate's new logo, gotta love it. First and off, let's say Francis Lawrence said they want to keep this very similar to the book, and they're not going to change very much about it. Interesting. Um, okay. It's kind of a dark book, so it makes sense that it's kind of a dark start. Yeah, and that, that's what I wanted to say first and foremost about this. It looks like a very dark trailer. Yeah. Both yeah. aesthetically and thematically, as we'll come to see. Um, and Joe Willems, who I believe was the DP on Catching Fire, is returning for these two films. So, I mean, it, it has that very shaky cam look at yeah. the right moments which is, I think, half the battle. This is great. I know, I love this. So, he looks so evil, those eyebrows. I know. I Very mean, arched eyebrows. Those <laughs> eyes could just, I, I think people are already making this the wallpaper on their desktop because, <laughs> yeah, he's very intense as President Snow. He's, he, he's, he's one of my favorite. He's Donald Sutherland, yeah. amazing. One of my favorite actors in this series, so. Where are we going here? Okay, so this is District 13. Um, I've read the novel, JS has not. Yeah, so full disclosure. Um, District 13 is now underground. They got Katniss out of the um, arena from, the fir from Catching Fire, uh -huh. and they've taken her to District 13. Um, the capital allowed them to keep District 13 going as long as they kind of disappeared, okay. I believe. And so um, they made it look like they destroyed everything that was above ground and they just kind of been hunkering underground. And now they're All starting right. the rebellion and they're building up to wanting Katniss to be the Mockingjay and the full face of the rebellion, mm. et cetera, et cetera. Hence the pinning of that Mockingjay pin. So this is Effie and Effie doesn't really play that big of a part in the book. She's kind of in prison for a lot of it. Did, did she so, shave her eyebrows? I don't know. Like, where? They're just like really thin. This just does this not look like the thing. Effie that I I came to right, know and love. Right, she's very shabby, in the first two which films. was kind of in those teaser po character posters. Mm -hmm. We saw that. Yeah. They, everyone was like very shabby and in prison there. But yeah, um, so I hope really that she plays a bigger part in the movie than she does in the book. Okay. Because she's such a beloved character. Does she kind of like take the sidelines in yeah, the book? Yeah, she's kind of behind the okay. scenes, not very involved. All right, so um, I mean, we're getting quick glances at those who are in District 13 and part of the rebellion. So this is BT. All right. And uh, he was n he won his um, his Hunger Games from mm. his knowledge of electricity, right? So he's the guy in Catching Fire uh, who helps okay. her figure out how to take down the force field. And now he has created them special arrows um, that activate with the sound of their voice. Like this one that she's twirling. This there. one that she's twirling. So okay. there are some normal ones, and there are some explosive ones, and some. Incendiary, Incendiary, right? Incendiary, yeah, it's a hard word. That uh, okay. start fire, basically. So um, she says good night, and they deactivate, and they only activate at the sound of her voice. So okay. that's going to be kind of a cool element, I think. It's like all of this um, more ancient warfare that they've had in the games, mm -hmm. and now it's merging with modern technology, okay. which is very cool. We haven't seen I mean, anything like that before. And look here, we got Philip Seymour Hoffman, the late great Philip Seymour yes. Hoffman, and Julianne Moore with her hair dyed gray. Yes. So, I mean, it's interesting because I've seen these two in, like, Paul Thomas Anderson movies together. Right. And now they're in a movie like this together, which yeah. is great. Um, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about Hoffman if we see him. Um, Effie pinning, pinning the pin. So, wow. That is a lot of firepower. Right. This, so, District 13 okay. was the nuclear weapon district. Oh. Right. Okay. So, um, that's where all of this is coming from, basically. That, that wasn't so wise of the capital. I went, yeah, I don't think it okay. was. No. I think if one district was going but, to open itself up to rebellion, this would be the one. So. Right, which I think they like agreed to let them leave them alone because they had this kind of firepower. Yeah. I kind of don't remember that part of the story. You can correct me in the comments. Okay. So here's our look at the, the new arrows that mm -hmm. BT created. And that is such a cool crossbow. That is really and cool. Yeah, we see the incendiary effect. Yes. The cool action there. So, wow, I mean, this, I gotta say, is just bigger and badder in every you think? way. Yeah, yeah. I, I just. I mean, it's the all been ramping up, here. so this mm -hmm. is kind of you know coming to the conclusion and the the big. Yeah, and a rebellion. lot of these just quick images of like you know we have oh, lots of soldiers shot. preparing that, for battle and everything. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is where we see Peta, and he <laughs> is telling Katniss. Um, to stand down, basically. Okay. This is when Katniss first realizes that Peta is still alive. So it's this very 
crazy moment. Can we rewind a little? Sure. So I mean, sh this is a very emotional moment back for a her. Back a little more. As back you can see. More. Okay, going back. <laughs> okay, so look at this. This is when Katniss first realizes he's alive. Look okay. at Gail's reaction to Katniss realizing. Yeah, he's none too pleased about <laughs> the fact that uh, this I other guy's still that. alive. I love that. It's yeah. so, <laughs> this is such the triangle, love triangle thing going on there. Right, so I mean this, again, that triangle that you talked about is just getting to sort of get ripped apart. Right, well, and, and also what's really cool here is that you kind of see Pete is still protecting her. Mm -hmm. He's telling her to kind of stay out of it. You kind of see like, um, you, all right, in the novel especially, you kind of start to see that maybe Pete is protecting her from afar, and then mm -hmm. she starts begins to start to want to protect him from where yeah. she's at. Okay. Um, so. Um, the Stanley Tucci character, one of my favorites. I, I love so, his outfits. I mean, he's sort of there for the capital, always interviewing the people. I mean, it's, I'm just really curious what Pete is doing here. Like, is he sort of their puppet now? Is right, he, I mean, he has to do what they say, right? He's yeah. captured, he's... Okay. Trying to play it to live and to keep Katniss alive. Jennifer Lawrence is just so great in this role. Like, I, I ever since she we first great. saw her, like, out in the element hunting in that first movie, yeah. like, I just knew she would be a great Katniss. And it looks like she's going to do a little bit of that again in this film. Here's where she's giving her demands to them. This is in order for her to take on the Mockingjay role because she's not quite sure she wants to play that role again. Okay. Where she's being very fake in the front for an audience. Um, so she's giving her demands. She wants them to not kill PETA, et cetera. Yeah. Um, so they're kind of hearing her out here in this scene. Okay, so I, I gotta say a lot of these combat shots, like you remind Finnick. me of like Alfonso Cuaron's Children of Men and yeah. stuff like that. I mean, yeah. this, this war-torn landscape really looks cool. I can't wait for them yeah, to explore that. Very cool production design here. Yeah. There's Finnick. <laughs> that, what a great Sam little moment look. for him. Yeah. I uh, yeah. He's such a good He's not as strong as he was in the previous film. Okay. okay. This is where we see she goes back to District 12. Mm -hmm. There's a white rose left for her in her old house. And mm. obviously, President Snow left it there. It's kind of a symbol that he can get to her anywhere, anytime. That's it's crazy. It's a very significant scene. And it was the only scene we saw in the first teaser sneak peek for this trailer, which is, you know, probably why they chose this specific scene. Is that a primrose? Or, OK, I don't know. No, just just not forget a big I rose asked. Person. OK. <laughs> um, so here we go. Everyone's doing the three finger salute that yes. this series has become known for. I, she she's realizing that she does need to take on the Mockingjay role. Yeah, I imagine that if you see this in theaters, a lot of fan boys and fan girls are going to be doing that at the end of the trailer. <laughs> as, as silly as that Especially sounds, people are Especially in Los Angeles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got some type of. I mean, this is a lot of action set pieces here, which yeah, is yeah, and it's and it's still very dark. This trailer has been dark throughout the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the whole film would be very dark because this point in the novel. It's just mm -hmm. continuously kind of, I don't know. Um, and luckily the film's not 3D, so it won't be even darker when people are wearing <laughs> the glasses. Um, Francis Lawrence had, did say, even though they want to keep it very similar to the novel, they mm -hmm. want to put in a, inject a little warmth um, and a little more character, I believe. Okay. So I don't know, that could be cool to see kind of how that happens. It doesn't look like it from this trailer. Yeah, but not at all. There are zero laughs to be yeah. had. Here. But um, I hope that we see that maybe in the next trailer. And what we just saw there was those incendiary arrows. Incendiary or maybe the arrows. explosive ones. Okay. Yeah. So there you have it. That's the trailer for the first full trailer that we've had for Mockingjay Part 1. Yeah. Um, and as you'll see here at the end title cards, it comes out on November 21st. Tickets go on sale October 29th. So hashtag the Mockingjay lives. There you go. Thanks for another edition of Instant Trailer Review. I've been JS. I'm Emily. Take care.